We got a returning guest, dude, Nestor Cortez. Thank you so much for hopping back on the show. And are you ready to take a look at some of your top posts? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Thank you for having me. First one. Every start this year, you're going to be rocking a different pair of cleats. I am. Uh, this is, so I think this is my second start, yep, with the Orioles. I'm kind of throwing ideas at my guy. Uh, he's coming back with a lot of good stuff. And I'm telling him yes or no, or just, hey, just take care of, t take care of it. I know you're a great artist. Do what you got to do, but make me look good. Uh, so he came with the concept. I just said mustaches around the old shoe. And then he went a, a little bit overboard and put, you know, the little fur on the three stripes. <laughs> so uh, they came out clean. I, I love those shoes. All right, here we go. We got to give Marcus a shout out. Because he's a dude the dude that man. does all the artwork on the cleats. And here he is. You got a nice boat that he did too, man. Yeah, this is a gift from my uncle for my birthday. He obviously knows I love boats. My dad owns a boat. We go fishing every every once in a while. And he thought this was pretty cool, so he gifted me. This is actually just completely orange when he gave it to me. And I said, I gotta give it to Marcus. He has to do something sick to it. <laughs> and he came up with this. I actually just told him, hey, I wanted the 65 and the nasty nest on top of there, but you do whatever you want to the rest. And he came out with this cool design. It kind of looks like a like a cigarette boat where you know all of those, those those boats are really fast so uh it was it was a great idea he came up with we see also too you rock a lot of cool gloves this is one of them too nasty yeah. and you're repping where you're from on it also so you're doing it with the leather also yeah another great another great company uh 44 they actually allow me to do whatever i want to the glove i've actually thrown ideas at them for me to have on the glove and they've allowed it They've taken it to production. Production has done great with it, and they've brought it back to me, and they've taken care of me. They've taken care of my high school. Uh, they're constantly telling me, hey, we got a whole bunch of orders going back to Hialeah. So that's pretty cool to inspire kids to, to make these gloves and order these gloves. So I'm very fortunate and very, very happy to, to be with them. Dude, yes, sir. So last time we did this, you were talking <laughs> about where you're from, getting your work in no matter what. Yeah. This is kind of like artistic, yet proves the point of you got to get your work in no yeah. matter where you are, what time of day, what you're doing. This was uh, on the side of the gym, so I had just worked out um, and I needed to throw a bullpen, so this was the best time to do it at and the only space I had to do it in. Uh, so I brought my portable mound with me, uh, put, a, put a home plate behind there and was lucky enough to find the catcher that was able to catch me. And now the last time that we did this, there's a similar video where you were throwing boats. between boats. Yes, and that went viral on the yeah. Yes Network page, which that was before you made the all-star team yep. and you were just talking about your determination hard work yeah and there it happened dude. it happened i got the chills just thinking about <laughs> it man yeah it was an incredible experience it's something i looked i looked up to when i was a kid that just like you know mid-season classic the classic with you know the the all-star game um and watching from afar you know like the barry bonds and Derek jeters all these legends like I said before, my first three seasons weren't weren't great. Um, I didn't know how to translate my minor league success to the big leagues, but I got after it, didn't quit, um, and it showed off last year. And when it shows up, you gotta show out. Yeah, you know it. I went with Jen's playbook for this uh, suit, uh, kind of shot them an idea, and they came back with this. My girl was able to, you know, rock it with me and 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 kind of blend in with me. So uh, what an incredible experience. It was super cool to be part of, like I said, the whole the whole week. Also, I got to point out too, man, because I know you're all about the details. Inside of this jacket yeah. is sick. And then you got the chain, man. The this chain. is like, this is next level. This is from my guy down in, in Hialeah. We went to school together, actually. I'm like, dude, it's going to be tough because I'm like, I don't want to be like that much out there, but I do want to show it out. <laughs> yeah. So he came back with this and I'm like, dude, you this is insane. I'm going to wear it because you made it. I don't wear it much out, but when I do, I know I know it's the nasty Nestor time. Yeah. <laughs> we saw you a lot during the offseason courtside at basketball games. Here you are. Dude, it's a pretty cool experience, man. You get to enjoy the, all the other New York For sure. teams. Madison Square Garden, the Knicks, they, they treated me well every time I've been in there. Um, obviously, I've told them how much I love basketball and I love just admiring other other professional sports mm -hmm. uh i love enjoying it and like i said i i, I think i think madison square garden the knicks for for having me courtside dude and this might have been the like the, oh, the pinnacle for you pinnacle right there right uh i remember messaging him uh obviously on a great career that he's had uh and he and he answered back he goes hey guys, like my kids are huge fans of yours i'm like there's no dude. way you d the go to miami <laughs> he told me hey if you come to the game uh, I got you after the game, but my kids want to take a picture with you. I'm like, 
that's Dude, that's easy yeah. ask. easy trade. That's yeah. an easy <laughs> ask. So uh, gave me good seats, and then after the game, I took a picture with his with his with his kids, and um, he gave me that in return, and he signed it, put all the put all little gingerbread in there. And I can't thank him enough for that. that. was an incredible experience for me. Next one, here you oh. go. You even got some football action and your caption for this picture is great. Yeah, um, <laughs> I was actually in Tampa doing an event. Uh, we're, we're recording something and I text him, I'm like, hey, Judgey, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm here in Tampa. I'm actually going to the Bucks game tomorrow. You want to come? And I'm like, sure, I'm, I'm here tomorrow, so might, might as well. This picture actually came up with uh, one, of our, one of our photographers that was uh, in Tampa and he sent it to me and I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna make the internet go crazy right now. <laughs> um, so I was thinking of a caption to put and the face says it all, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. what's it gonna be, you know, where Perfect are you going? <laughs> yeah, it was it was great and it, it, I think that was the biggest photo picture I have on my Instagram. Yeah, I mean, it went freaking viral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. All right, we're coming down the home stretch. Here's your dog, Tyson. Yep. That's our baby, honestly. He, we, we've got him since he was a little puppy. Uh, he's actually very smart, loves the water. You can see him there like being calm, cool, collective there. Mm -hmm. um, but we ride him on jet skis, we ride him on the boat, and this guy is just amazing. I, I love him and, and hopefully he can, he can be with us for a while. Tina Martinez, the dude loves, he's, he's very good at rolling cigars. Oh yeah, And you yeah, showed yeah, off yeah. your skills too. Yeah. Uh, Rodriguez Cigars actually, um, for my birthday, they went out and uh, hand rolled cigars for me at my birthday party. Ooh. And I was like, wow, dude, this is insane. They did it for free. So I'm like, anything I can do to give back, please let me know, don't hesitate. He's like, all I want you to do is come to the store, come roll some cigars, and let me teach you a little bit of, about cigars and what, what, what we do and our family history. So I went down to Key West and it was insane. Like, they got a whole humidor room full of cigars ready to go dude. out. I actually got to go back because their cigars are really good and, and I just can't wait to get there. Oh, amazing. And you obviously do a great job at posting on your Instagram page because we're doing this for a second time. What would you say is your favorite part about social media? Uh, the way you can send out a message uh, in a positive way. Obviously, we get caught up in, you know, comments and different stuff that go on in the world, which obviously we got to know about. But I think if you can use your, your social media um, and your status to always bring out a good message or like inspire people to do things. I post all my shoes, I post all my memorabilia, mm -hmm. uh, post some family stuff, you know, I, I try to keep it a little bit like uh, broad so people can see what my daily life is about. So uh, like I said, a good message is always a good message. So. All right, baby, well, that's why you should follow him. So if you're not already, you definitely should shoot at your handle so everybody knows where to go. Nestor Cortez 12 and on Instagram and Cortez underscore 1210 in Twitter. Please my follow man. me. Yes, sir. My <laughs> man, Nasty Nestor. Let's go, baby. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate, I appreciate you. you.